Are you a slave master in search of something new? Are you an enchantress with an ever insufficient magic budget? Are you a misunderstood genius? Sign up with the Dungeons Company. Assemble your ideal team, train your monsters to defend our treasures from ever stupider heroes. Feel free to give us a call by Crystal Ball at and become a part of the legend of Keepers. And with that, hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of Legend of Keepers. The 1.0 release is finally upon us. It has been released two days ago, I think, so I'm a bit late to the party, but I think that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm excited and ready to check it out. There should be new monsters, new heroes and new game modes. We finally get to check out the Ascension mode and the Endless mode. So let's not waste any more time, but jump right in and um, yeah, head back into our old save file it's a passion. and see what has changed. Uh, okay, we can't check out the Ascension and the Endless mode just yet. Because we first have to beat the fifth mission. Ah, well, that's a bit annoying. But that kind of encourages me to, um, to try to do that right now. <laughs> and not do the fourth Enchantress run first, because I really want to at least have a peek at those two modes in today's episode. So, yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do then. So... What do we have here? Let's check out which is probably easier. We've uh, oh, beat all of them. We might still have to beat number two here. Uh, so let's just take the engineer. We definitely only have one here. So that should be good. Let's start. Okay, we get to pick the trap again. I have made good experiences with... Uh, the defensive turret, the yeah, the, the one that deals physical damage seems good to me. Um, okay, let's see. So we have many of these um, skeleton scientists. I guess it makes sense to put them all into room number one so that the next trap will be super enhanced. Um, that might be good. Uh, deals more damage and this applies multi-action. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, but yeah, what do we want to choose here? Engineer, boost our traps even more. Why not? Let's try to make this a trap run as it is intended. So yeah, let's upgrade the ballista. Can only upgrade it once. Uh, and this I can't upgrade, too expensive. All right then, um, got not much money left. We could still head for the merchant. Typically the monsters and traps aren't that expensive there. So yeah, maybe, or we could go for two random events and then the merchant, yeah, that will be better. The ninth door could summon a random monster of demon type for 200 life. Let's do that. Will take me 10 weeks to recover, but that's okay. What did we get? The Psycho Imps. Okay, we already know them. Not sure if I'm a fan, but it's it's gonna be fine. Um, so, second event. Garbage shoot. Don't really need that. They are all still motivated. So that was a wasted turn. Eh, oh well, merchant it is then. Electrical coil, air damage and air weakness. Haven't seen that one before. I wonder if it's a new one, but air damage and air weakness ricochets once to another hero. Could be good, but I might need more monsters. Um, yeah, let's just... Hmm. Let me check again. Um, what do we have here? Ballista hits everyone, that's really good, especially with the scientists. 
Uh, so I'm. Let's let's fill the second group for now, kinda by buying these two. The skeleton dog and the skeleton magus. That sounds good to me. And uh, cannot be moved during a task. Okay, then I'll stop doing the task. It's all right. And then we'll deal with our first group of adventurers. Swap rooms. Uh, no, that that's not what I intended. You go to room number two. You go to room number two as well. These will just boost the trap. I think that's all right. And then the second group will take care of what's left. So uh, let's pick the hardest challenge. So far that worked well. Okay, um, we can start with the lure to put multi-action on the next regular trap. And then the skeleton scientists will boost this trap and it will have multi-action, so I think that's gonna be cool. So, yeah, that should be cool. Um, don't have to think too much about this. <laughs> um, Ballista goes here. And uh, then we're gonna take care of what's left. So what do we have here? Ice damage in the front, physical damage everywhere. Fire to the front. So fire and ice in the front. That's lovely. We've got nothing for that. It's rare to have both of those resistances on one character. Uh, oh well. This one at least has loads of HP, so that's cool. Um, also good against physical, so that's nice. Um, it's all coming from the front, so maybe we can put a good damage dealer in the back. I mean, they should still be weakened against physical attacks, so these might be nice with physical everywhere and bleeding. This one also applies physical damage. Mm -hmm. I guess this one is nice in the center. So let's do it. Okay. Should be all right. Okay, who do we shoot? Um, front or back? Let's go for the back. Three shots? Was that the multi-action? I thought it said regular trap. Okay, are you new? <laughs> I think you're new. The beer to Oso. Alright. I uh, haven't seen that one before, so I do believe it's a new addition. Kind of a bard character. All right, we could do toxins, nature damage and poison everywhere. They aren't really weak against poison uh, or nature damage, but I guess it's mostly due to the dodge here. So let's see. Yeah, we should be able to take the one in the back out like this. Uh, or not. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be fine. This one should do the trick now. Yeah. Hmm, so it already had three shots. Weird. Oh no, because of uh, enhanced trap, I guess? I don't get it. Not really. But it's okay. Not complaining. So, um, sampling or chemical cloud? Chemical Cloud might be nice, adding even more poison, but still, they aren't really weak against nature damage, so... Uh, I don't know. Eh, whatever, let's do it. I hope that we can make it. Um, okay. Well, we still got the broken armor, but they've got dodge again, which is not nice, but I guess area damage is then what we want. 
Yep. Uh, all right, and here we go. Knife time. Sounds useful. Yeah, let's just do it. Nice. Taking out the front row character. Yeah, I think we'll be good here. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I guess this one would be better in room number one when there are three heroes around. Uh, same for this one, kinda. Well, this one got rid of the broken armor somehow, so that's annoying. Maybe, maybe this makes sense, I don't know. Eh, I guess physical damage is still the way to go here. Yeah, should be good. All right. Um, human hunter. More nature damage. Steel golem. Ice and nature damage. Um, or the ice skeleton. I, I do like the mecha, so I think I'm gonna pick one of these two. This one has so much HP, so that's nice. Also got good resistances. Yeah, I do like the Steel Golem. Let's do it. All right. You can go to room number one and you can go to room number two. All right. Good stuff. Um, merchant or event? It says we don't have enough resources for the engineer, sadly. So... Eh, let's save up some money and then hit the merchant again, maybe. Golthor the Destroyer. Do you have a moment to spare to talk about our lord and tormentor, Golthor the Destroyer? Accept for motivation, refuse for tears, or kill for blood. Huh. What do we have here, by the way? Oh, all traps gain enhanced trap. Okay, now everything makes sense. Got it. That's why we had that extra shot. Okay. Um, I would prefer tears to blood, but we can get more blood than tears. Huh. Yeah, well, give me the blood. Maybe we'll hit the alchemist at some point. Um, but for now, I think another event sounds nice. Hero decanter. Yay, that's exactly what we need. Perfect. Um, trainer or collectors. We do need gold, so let them drink my blood. It's risky, but I think it will, will be worth it in the end. Another event. Slimy yet satisfying. A giant worm has oozed its way into the lower levels of the dungeon. What will you do with it once you've killed it? Plus 50 life if you eat it. <laughs> Is that a dare? Um, I, I think I'm gonna sell it. Someone else can eat the worm. And I, I would like an artifact. We still have four empty artifact slots, so let's try to fill them. Okay, what's the room layout? Um, okay, so this time we can't place the skeletons and the lure before the second trap, so that's a bit annoying, but I guess not a huge problem. We'll still place the ballista here and put the enhanced trap on it, I think. Yeah. Okay, what are your weaknesses? Does it make sense to... Eh, not really. Okay, so here we go. Ballista. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's, it's not ideal, but whatever. Uh, this is also not ideal, obviously, but... Eh, we'll see. Air and ice in the front and air in the back as well. Mm, nothing else that is super interesting. So, air and ice in the front. This one. Perfect. Glad that I picked it. And air in the back. This would work. Don't have much health in total though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's see. You have a bit more health. Yeah, let's, let's put you there. And maybe you in the center again. Not great against air. Yeah, but it will be okay, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. The air damage is not ideal, neither is the physical though. Uh, you are weak against everything basically. You also deal physical. Uh, yeah, I don't have a better option, so this has, has to be good enough. Okay, so... Uh, toxins, nature damage, yeah, nature damage sounds, sounds about right. This is not that bad, actually, all that poison damage. And yeah, then also boosting our traps. I can work with that. Definitely want to train these scientist, uh, scientists, though. Yeah, <laughs> because of this. Yeah, that was good damage. Okay, rolling stone. <laughs> That one is new, I think. Uh, uh, 80 physical damage applies stunt. Sounds good. Goblin alarm. Eh. Mm, not a fan. Or barrier points. Let's just stun the one in the back. Sounds nice. Um, yeah, let's take out the center one, I think. Maybe even... Could probably maybe even take out the front row character. Yeah, but it's gonna be most efficient against the center one, so let's do this. Oh, still alive though. That's annoying. But that's okay. We'll we'll do this. Next uh room this chemical cloud. Uh, Mega Cloud is not enough, but eh, still good. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Uh, the back row character is stunned anyway, so we don't have to rush. So let's do this first. slow things down, but also give us quite a few barrier points, so I don't know. Let's do it. Okay. Now... Uh, let's take out the front row character. Yeah, looks good. Don't think anyone else will die, so this is nice. Good stuff. What do we get? Monsters have a 20% chance to deal a critical strike when attacking. 
sounds good that's basically roughly plus 10 percent more damage or exactly i don't know maths <laughs> Mechas gain haste. Uh, I I don't have the mecha focus this time around. Damage dealt by monsters to heroes at their maximum life increased by 100%. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick this probably. 10% all the time it seems to be better than only one attack basically dealing double. So let's take it. Ew, this one's morale is dropping rather drastically. Uh, training. Sure, let's do it. Let's train our scientists, maybe. Ooh, they are re relatively expensive, though. Um, but we are using them frequently, so it might be worth it. Huh. Could only train two of them. Hmm. Whatever, let's do it. Let's train the two we are gonna take into the next fight, I guess. Or let's spread it out a bit. Okay. I guess this is it. Can't pay for that. Also, don't really have enough for the merchant. So another event. Good morals. Uh, okay, you have been caught with a magazine of uh, disgusting humans. I uh, guess you might need the morale. So you may keep it. First time I ever did that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let's have a workout. Uh, we can't get everything, but we can get two things. So, skipping rope definitely works. And self flagellation for 10 more armor, armor or more life in total. More armor seems good. Let's do that. Alright, another event and then we have to face the first champion. Corporate feast, can't pay for anything, so whatever. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Seems like everyone is still good to fight. So, let's see. Okay, we have the Necromancer. Ice damage in the back. Uh, okay, and we can place the lure again first. That's nice. So let's think about everything else later. Yeah, seems good to me. What's uh, your nature? Okay, they should be doing relatively good damage. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, seems all right. Um, and here comes the second group. So physical in the front and fire in the front. Uh, let's see, this one would be good, I think. Yeah. Okay. And ace in the back. This one boosts the front row monster and the back row monster, so I always like to place this one in the center when possible. Um, and also, it's really not the worst here. The fire might be a problem, but everything else is alright, so... Seems good to me. Let's hope that it's enough. Okay. Uh, so this will... Uh, not yet applying broken armor, sadly. But okay, let's uh, aim for the one in the back. That should uh, maybe even... Nah, not quite enough to take it out, but that's all right. We're close. Enraging them, not smart. 
Okay, toxin time. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I mean, we knew it would happen. Still, we are applying quite a bit of poison here, so that's really nice. Yeah, they are doing a really good job. <laughs> Almost done here. That was the easiest battle yet, so um, definitely like that. Sure, let's just put more poison on them. Can't hurt. Oh damn, I didn't even... Yeah, well. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're basically done here. Yeah. Easy. Rank pie, the first attack suffered by each hero applies easy target. Huh. Well, that might be ha uh, helpful if then the battle ends soon enough. That is, of course. What's this? I don't like this. The tank, though, is pretty nice. But I really think maybe I'll just take the prank pie. This could come in quite handy with our trap focus here. Okay, now two of them need to rest though. Maybe if I don't find something to have them regain some stamina. Uh, merchant time, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, skeleton bull, that one is new, I think. At least I haven't seen it before. Good health, high morale or motivation. Um, resistances are pretty good too. So yeah, looks like a really nice creature. Nature damage everywhere, fire in the front. Flame spirit, damaging attacks, apply burn too. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, definitely a cool creature. What about the energy converter here? Okay, yeah, not a fan of this trap, but I would like to have yet another, like uh, another trap for setups where we can place the lure it is uh, in front of the other trap. So yeah, I don't know. I also like the hat slinger, but I don't know. <sighs> like the, the back attack is pretty nice. but it is focused on morale damage and I don't really have that. So I think I'll buy the bull and renew once and hope for the best for a nice trap. Polar portal. Uh, ice damage and frostbite on everyone. Oh, we get the mechanic. I do like the mechanic. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's get the mechanic and the polar portal then. Okay. Got both rooms filled now, uh, even yeah. when these have to rest we have nice replacements I guess, but this will be the hardest one I believe if we can't, can't use our skeleton scientists without the risk of them having a burnout, which I would prefer them not to have. Eh, well, let's, uh, let's leave this for now and head into another event. Buy supplier, lots of gold, but uh, yeah, we will get some units with stomach cramps later on, but that's a lot of gold, so I'll take it. And we can head into the workshop, uh, workshop <laughs> to improve our big trap. I like that. Um, new passive, broken armor, sounds about right, let's take that. And then next, the additional ammunition. Okay, seems like we couldn't have them regain some stamina, so we'll have to remove them. Yeah, this one in room number one seems correct. Uh, yeah, well, does it make sense to have this one in at all then? 
Probably not really. Let's rather have them all relax and then be ready for the next fight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, master bonus. Um, we have a disaster room here. I don't really think it will be that much harder. So let's take the veterans. Okay, what do you do? Physical in the front and ignores the first attack. Nature damage in the front. Physical everywhere. Okay, the bard again. Ah, oh, damn, I hate that one. Uh, well. So basically phys physical and nature in the front. Uh, not that we can do much here, but at least we can align them decently. But you should be in the back, right? Oh no, in the center actually. Although... Uh, yeah, okay, the passive would have me put this one in the center. Or does it apply haste to itself as well? That would be cool. Let's check that out, because like the fire attack um, puts flame spirit on the monsters in front of it. Let's see. Um, yeah, you should be good in the front, although you don't have that much health, but... Uh, yeah, they have high armor anyway, so this is not gonna be much fun here. Oh well, it is what it is. Maybe we can get some nice burn. I'm not even sure if it makes sense going for the armor if they start with such a high amount. Maybe I should go with the lure and the polar portal. Ice damage seems good. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, seems nice. Okay, second group. Physical and nature in the front. Um, seems good. This one also seems good. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, they all have such high, high armor. Uh, and the air damage is not high on this one. What about this here? Yeah, again, ice damage isn't that bad. Nature is also, well, at least working for this one. Uh, okay, let's place this one instead then. Yeah, seems okay. I hope we can make it, but this, yeah, will indeed be one of the hardest battles, I believe. I hope we can survive it. Yeah, it does apply it to itself as well. That's awesome. Okay. Um, hmm. Not sure. We should just shield them or go for the wrench throw. It's not gonna deal much damage, so let's use the converter. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't expect much from this group anyway, so, eh, whatever. Trampling, nature damage everywhere, or fire. Fire doesn't seem ideal. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do. Well, in the center one we might be able to uh, take out, actually. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, we might have a chance here. Alright. Uh, could... Um put more easy target on them, but I don't think it'll last until here, so meh, probably not. Uh, chemical Cloud, 
Oh, let's do it. Why not? Rolling stone to stun the one in the back. Uh, not, not ideal. Barrier points. Let's try barrier points. Okay. Uh, of course. Thrower, I guess. Mm, or gets more power. Uh, yeah, that's the self protection at least once. Okay. Freezing fist or transmutation. Oh, we can remove this uh, enraged. Yeah, let's do that. Poison is also gone, but I think that was good. <sighs> Still rough. Okay. Um, I think it's flamethrower time. skeleton you should be immune to bleeding <laughs> oh well You are not. Uh, more self protection. Let's do it. Yeah, I think we'll make it. Barely, though. I mean, uh, barely. Maybe, maybe barely is a bit too strong, but they might still reach the champion, which is never nice. Let's see what we can do. No, oh, okay. Maybe they won't. This ice damage is gonna gonna be good. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, we got this. Still, I think I was correct. This being the hardest battle yet. Okay, we get an upgrade. More power. That's always good. Chemical cloud dealing a bit more damage and one more poison. The radiant bomb basically having a better attack there. I don't know. One of these, I think. The chemical cloud is probably the one I would use most often. And I have kind of a poison focus a bit with those skeleton scientists, so let's do it, I guess. Okay, they are almost fully recovered, so that's cool. So, yeah, get uh, back into your room. <laughs> and let's see, engineer. Engineer seems good. Let's boost our traps. Um, yeah, let's have this be even stronger. And I guess boosting this can't hurt either. Not sure. This one can be super useful, but it totally depends on the order of the rooms. Because if this comes right after, or in general, like uh, after the skeleton scientist room, then it's not usable, basically. So I don't feel like spending 300 on that. 
So yeah, let's leave. It's good enough. Um, I'll go for the event. Food poisoning, of course. Uh, unavailable for five weeks. These two here. Ignore. <laughs> we'll be fine. Hopefully. Um, okay. Another event. Okay. What's this? I uh, can't do the bargain because we don't have this. Um, so 100 to make the skeleton archer be stronger. Seems good to me. Collectors. Or training. Let's go with the collectors and train later. We have the scientists ready, so I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Artifact, master bonus, or trap. I do like the master bonuses, but we still have artifact slots. Uh, so, yeah, I think. Mm, I think I'll go with the artifact. Let's check the rooms again. Oh, yeah, we might want to put some of these into room number two. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't really matter that these are out because room one will be uh, uh, occupied by the scientists anyway. And then room number two still has six to choose from. Uh, even if the mechanic in room number two is a bit pointless, let's put it in room number one just in case. Yeah, uh, and then you can be in room number two. Okay. All right, let's face those veterans. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ice damage in the front, frostbite, random bonus. It's not benefiting from any bonuses. Okay, replacing penalties. So penalties will be tough. Air damage, fire damage. Okay, um, well the front row character is weak to, um, to physical damage. So it might be a good idea to place this one here. Let's see. All goes to the front. So if I place this one in the back, it might survive for a while deal good physical damage on this one. I think I want to do that. Uh, and yeah, we still have two to boost the next trap. I think that should be fine. Yeah. Let's do it like this. Should be good. Although nature damage isn't bad either. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm too scared. I think I'll keep it like this. Okay, what do we have here again? Uh, <laughs> ice, fire and air. Perfect. That's definitely something we can easily take care of, right? I guess you're pretty good against all of that, so I guess you go there. Um, this is not ideal. Hmm, you're pretty good against all of that. Not much health in total though, but I guess it's okay. Um, <laughs> one it's at least boosting others uh, same as this one but nature everywhere uh, 
let's go with this one. Let's see, this might be not that easy either. We have to place the Ballista here, going for the physical damage. Oh, wait, I wonder, um, to the next trap, so it will boost my advanced trap. That might be interesting. Um, okay, um, still, we want to place the lure then, and then place the ballista in the next room. Maybe. Because this doesn't say regular trap, it just says the next trap, so it should target this advanced trap. Okay. And then here we have the ballista, and that should be it. Okay. Damn. Oh well, you get one attack in, that's good. Ooh, and we got the easy target on them. Okay, this is, uh, might work out better than I thought it would. Okay, well, you replace your penalties already. That's a bit rough. But you still, well, these two still got the easy target, so that's cool. Ooh, one shot. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's, let's take that shot. I do like it. Yeah, seems good. Spell room. Chemical cloud, the improved one. I think you already did that, didn't you? I hope you did. Arrow seems good. Taking care of the back row first here. Okay. Seems good. No, we can't do it before this one falls, sadly. <laughs> but it's alright, I think. Yeah, let's take out the back row now. Hopefully it'll be enough. Ooh, almost good enough. But I think we got it. Nice. Didn't even need the regular traps. Good one. Nightmare Catcher. Uh, I don't think we need this. Uh, monsters placed in a group containing only skeletons gain bona, uh, bony. Um, well, the skeleton scientists might be such a group, so maybe this isn't that bad. Yeah, let's go with this. So they would survive a bit longer in the future, which is nice. Okay, they are all down to three. At least it's balanced. That's good. Could go to the engineer again. Yeah, I mean, there might still be some room left for additional damage. Could also do the events first and then go to the engineer. Yeah, let's do that. Office tour. While walking through the corridors, you notice a monster waiting for a job interview. Hiring right off the bat, uh, or intimidating. Uh, while I do like this one, it's a room one character. I mean, maybe it might be nice having replacements for when the scientists are out of stamina, basically, or motivation or whatever. Would also be nice to have some more tears. 
Yeah, let's take it. It's so cheap. PR Monstertainment. Strange gentleman in the guise of a toy manufacturer knocks on your door and offers to sell you a range of amusing items. He requests nothing in exchange other than the materials to make them. A strange and troubling force physically prevents you from declining. 105 life lost if you choose to pay in life points. Uh, so he wants the glove or the troll beer or my life. Or no, this is the toy we get. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see. So again, the damage boost against monsters, uh, enemies at full health. The troll beer. Um, basically, uh, we would have to <laughs> sacrifice one of our mechanics. That's not nice. Um, Losing speed but increasing life. Yeah, I do like that for front row monsters. Or the Staff of Speech. Monsters in a group containing three different types gain plus 30% power at the start of fight. How likely is that for group number two? Uh, not out of the question, but not too likely right now. We only have one demon type and it's not really my favorite monster. But at the same time, it's... I would... Hmm. The glove is also nice. But since the scientists aren't dealing too much damage, it's also not, not great. Hmm. Whatever, we got a new mechanic, so <laughs> bye. I like the troll beer the best, so that's what uh, what my final decision was based on. So yeah, let's head to the engineer now and upgrade our traps some more. Okay, glad that we have enough tears for this. Sadly not for this, but still um, good to have an, a level 4 ballista now. Still don't really want to upgrade this. So, especially since the multi-action stays the same, yeah. Okay, I don't really want to sell my monster, so event it is. Cleaning accident, um, so we free a monster, but uh, we have to re... like we have to compensate them. Uh, <sighs> Gold, blood, or health. I kind of don't want to risk it, like paying with health when I don't am at full, when I'm not at full health. So I think I'll give some blood. We have enough of that. Okay, and what do we do here now? So, I do like that this one applies broken armor. That's really good. Um. Also, giving barrier points to everyone. I guess it's a good room room one character. Yeah. Um, so what were we thinking about? I already forgot. I guess we just had a look at this one. Yeah. Well, okay. Mm. So where do we go? I like the rare rewards, but champion fight might be really rough. But it would also be boring not to try, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm scared. could also just get a new trap and the same amount of gold and <laughs> whatever the champion fight we were in was the easiest so far so let's head for the rare rewards and hope for the best here 
okay, so at least the one in the back is weak against physical. That's nice. Um, we start off with our advanced trap, then comes our next trap. Well, this one applies broken armor, but um, I would like to have our second trap be the ballista after the scientist, so the lure goes here. Then we all goes to the front, physical air and fire. Well, this might not be the worst worst thing to happen here, or to E. Could also place this one in the front, uh, let's see. Air, physical and fire, now this one wouldn't be good. Um, Yeah, okay, we don't have anything that would be really great for the front row, so whatever, this is it. Uh, confirmed. Then here comes our wonderful Ballista. Should be good. I mean, they have relatively high resistances, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, this altar is a bit annoying, but okay. Okay, and then let's see. Physical, air, and fire. Can we do anything against that? Uh, you're okay. Yeah, I guess I guess you are the best we have. Yes, you're pretty good too. You're pretty good too. All right, let's have you in the center then. Looks all right to me. Anything I missed here? Yeah, that air, air resistance thing is a bit annoying. Oh well. I guess we'll see. So, let's start shooting enemies. Yeah, back row character it is. Eh, that's okay. Focus them. Toxin seems good. They have high enough air resistance, that's nice. So it won't ricochet. That buys us some time. Not too much, but a little bit. Spreading those toxins. Oh, come on, you could have died. Could have done me the favor. Well, you didn't. <laughs> but now you did, thanks. Huh, easy target. Seems good to me. Um, still have two of those on you though, and I guess it doesn't stack in that way. So I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Then let's uh, rather apply more poison, I guess. Yeah, nice one. Oh, yeah, okay, the poison one wasn't that effective anyway. But I think we're good here. Damn, air resistance negative. Not good. some burn here. Mm. That's still good enough, I think. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 
Ooh, that was mean. Yeah, that's the problem with negative air resistance here. Oh well, I think we got this anyway. Without anyone else dying, so it's all, all good. Yeah, nice one. Huh. Okay, what do we get? Another lure? I don't think so. Nightmare Catcher? Also, that music was new, I think. Haven't heard that one before. At least, not uh, that I would remember. Nightmare Catcher? Yeah, still don't want that, so I guess we take the Ironclad Mantis. Air damage in the front. Area damage as physical damage with a bonus of barrier points. That could be useful. Applies multi-action to the next regular trap when it's defeated. Yeah, I like that. That's a new room one creature probably. Um, although the only skeleton thing, something I have to keep in mind. Did I pick that up or didn't I? Um, artifacts, yeah, I did. The Maman Brigitte's bone. Uh, yeah, so that is something to keep in mind, certainly. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can get something to boost their motivation in the random events or something. I don't know, we'll see. Could head to the merchant or the engineer, but I think we need tears and we don't have those, so it's a bit pointless. So yeah, event, I guess. Bloodthirsty coach. Um, yeah, well, I guess I will have to pay, but boosting both of these uh, monsters' levels seems good. Sanctuary. Adventurous life. Lives made worse. Sounds about right. Can only get this, but hey, I'll have bleeding enemies, so yay. <laughs> Not what I would have picked if I had the choice, but it's okay. <sighs> hmm. Get even more gold. Or get some random event here. We are almost at full health again, so we could do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, take my health. Okay. So, workshop again. That one is a no-brainer. And we take the additional ammunition. I like to apply lots of broken armor. Enhanced damage, yeah, that's also cool, but uh, yeah. More ammunition basically means more damage to and more broken armor, so that's awesome. Okay, um, still don't have any tears, so the event it is. Work accident, now we do have tears. Thanks for hurting me though, that's not really helpful right now. Therapist it is, I think. Um, I think we should pay. So our scientists will be ready for another fight. Training course? Nah. Event. Secret room. Uh, one of your employees has accidentally discovered a long lost secret tunnel. It leads to a treasure room filled with gold and housing a rare and valuable artifact. You can keep everything for yourself, reward your employee with some gold or give them the artifact plus one level. Um, keep offer? Why does keep give me gold and the artifact? That's a bit weird. I definitely don't want to reward it. Uh, hmm. huh. Maybe this should mean, I don't know, because it says reward your employee with some gold. It's a bit weird and uh, contradicting itself. I think this is a new one, maybe it's still bugged. <laughs> but it, it says like, keep the artifact, like... Uh... Yeah, I really don't get what, what's gonna happen here. 
<laughs> I don't really need the... So keep for yourself. I, for some reason, get gold too. Uh, if I reward the employee with some gold, I don't really lose gold. And I still get the capsule. That makes sense, I guess. And they're still happy in a way. But offer... I, I really don't get it. I don't really want the capsule though, I think. Uh, I don't know what I would replace here. So I guess I'll just pick this. Doesn't make a difference to me, so thanks for the gold. Confusion. Yeah. Um, plunder or training? Training seems nice. Let's train. Uh, you get more health and the enhanced strap gets better. That's nice. So uh, let's do it. What what happened to the enhanced trap? Okay, can't check it right now, so that's a bit annoying, but okay. Hmm. Eh, we can still train them, so let's do it. <laughs> Now let's check what our scientists can do now. Uh, enhanced trap 2. Okay, <laughs> that is nice. So uh, that should be a nice additional boost there. What do we do with Betty? Multi-action to the next regular trap. Um, I do like that, but it will destroy the skeleton synergy here. Still nice to have, but maybe I'll put this one in room number two. Um, not sure what to remove. Maybe this one. Yeah, might be good. We'll see. Seems fine to me for now. Okay, where do we go? Master bonus, monster, or master bonus and more gold. I think we have enough monsters and yeah let's let's go here this would be the hardest I guess but we don't need more monsters and master bonus sounds nice so yeah here we go already more than an hour I guess we might not check out the endless mode today sorry but uh, we still got to see some new things so, uh, nature damage in the front, uh, fire in the front, fire everywhere, and healing. Okay, um, yeah, well that fire damage is gonna be a problem. But hey, whatever, we want the enhanced traps, I guess. Uh, yeah, fire is gonna be a problem with everyone here, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, and actually, since we have this, this is actually really helpful. Okay, um, sadly, we will have to place the ballista here, because otherwise this one would have the enhanced trap, which is not really helpful. So, ballista goes here, and, oh, they're all weak to physical damage already. Okay, they might not make it very far. <laughs> All right, uh, second group, I think this might be irrelevant, but hey, uh, nature and fire. Okay, uh, you're good. You're good. You're pretty good too. Uh, you're good too though. Mm, eh, I don't know, whatever. Seems fine. Okay, uh, they have still high HP, I guess. So, um, fire on all and burn and healing and eh, all that sounds annoying. So let's try taking out the one in the back. Oh, even more. Oh yeah, I have upgraded the ammunition, right? <laughs> 
Your armor is very broken. Maybe I should have spread that out a little more. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. Ah, immune to poison. That's that's pretty annoying. I think we still got this. <laughs> um, yes, that's kind of what I what I expected to happen. <laughs> that super boosted ballista is nice. Okay, more armor. Uh, targeting drone. Applying more easy target. Uh, absorbing shot. Uh, well, I don't think I'll take this one. So targeting drone or more armor. I don't think the easy target plus one is going to make a major difference. Um, because if I'm scared that four easy target might not make it through, then I will still be scared with five, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's take the armor. I think we are on our way to the final battle. Let's see. Um, don't really have enough gold for training right now, I think. Yeah, not really. So let's head to the event. Once upon a time, a uh, wandering troubadour offers to sing for your employees in exchange for a modest sum. With the right employee, you could, could convince her to sing for free. Uh, well, I don't have the right employee. Getting some motivation back might be good. That allows us to use the skeletons once more, even if we don't go into the final champion battle right now, which I don't really know if we will. So yeah, let's accept this, I think. Another event. Seems good. Lost adventurer. Um, I think I'll capture you. So maybe we can get the train. Ah, okay. Final battle here. Oh well, then it's engineer time. Mm, yeah. Boost this one now. Seminar. Mm hmm. Seems good. So we can do something that is pretty much pointless here, but whatever. And then the final battle is upon us. Um, setup seemed okay to me. So, don't think we'll place anything in the first room that is not a skeleton. So, let's put some skeletons there in case we want to use them. This one has fire resistance, so that's a, a bit of an odd one out. So I think I might want to have this one in room number one. In case I can place this one in the front to protect the others. That might be might be helpful. Um, can have you in room number two then I guess. You might still be still be good. Not sure what to replace though. Eh, whatever. It's okay like this, I believe. Yeah, let's keep it like this. I think we're good. At least I hope so. Ah, so we can place the lure again. That is good. Um, so we have ice damage in the front. Nature damage everywhere. Air damage in the back. 
doesn't seem too horrible. The damage reduction thing on the Druidess is a bit annoying, but eh, it's okay. Lore. Monsters. Uh, so what do we have? Okay, no fire anyway. So nature, ice and air. That's not that bad. This could uh, be over relatively quickly. Hmm. Okay, we can get even like the multi-action on top of everything else on the ballista. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> if they make it that far, that is. So we have ice and nature and air. Mm, you're not great in general, but the multi-action is worth it, so whatever, be in the center. Uh, ice and nature and air. Air in the back right, okay. Um, Seems good to me. And here comes the ballista to end it all if it isn't already over. Uh, they also don't have high armor, so yeah, I think we're good here. Okay. Uh, focus down the front row character, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, nature is not ideal, but... like the poison it stacks so nicely yeah let's let's still do it I'm a fan of the toxins target for uh, I don't think that's gonna be good so physical and barrier points seems nice seems like they will make it further than I thought they would still this is gonna be okay one down. Air damage is good there, so why not? That's also pretty good. Not ideal though. gonna be fine. I think we got this. 
Ballista, do your thing. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> wow, what a battle! Of course we were unaware that such champions were on their way. Your inventions, your brain. Well, Thanks. you are precious <laughs> to us. You deserve a promotion. Oh, I do. Pay no attention to the conspiracy theories linking the board and those champions. Or linking the board in these laboratories. Only rumors seeking to befoul our close relationship. Keep at it. Tell me more about those conspiracy theories. <laughs> the way you're defending yourself seems really suspicious. But this was mission number five, right? So... That was easy! Are we gonna figure out what's going on there? I'm not sure. Even well... We are level 10 now. That's cool. So many ideas. And we have unlocked the ascension mode and the endless mode. So, um I guess this is basically going from challenge to challenge until you reach 5, like all in order maybe. I don't know. Uh and endless mode, well, I guess uh, that name speaks for itself. I guess we'll just learn the full story once we have beaten Ascension mode, probably. That seems to be like the main objective. Endless mode is, yeah, doesn't really have an end, as the name suggests, so I don't think there will be uh, hidden story elements, but let's see. Uh, we can at least check out what it says when we start a run, right? Let's see. Uh, Ascension 1, gold gained at the end of dungeons, reduced by 10%. And we can't pick anything else just yet. Okay, and this is our team. Pretty, pretty nice mecha focus. I like that. Yeah, um, I guess next time we'll try the Ascension 1 and see if we can make some progress. I, I guess beating it is a bit uh, a bit much for one episode, but we might start it and um, yeah, just see how it goes. But in any case, this was fun. Um, I do like the new additions I've seen so far. I mean, not really like-like as, as in the bard. I really don't like the bard as an enemy. It's really annoying that dodge that it applies, but it is a cool addition. Make uh, makes things more difficult, certainly. And um, yeah, I'm just happy that they finally made it to version 1.0 and I am really excited to check out Ascension and Endless mode. Okay, let's see. You can only enhance your promotion elements during the second year. Dungeon re rewards as well as workout and event tasks no longer offer resistances or armor bonuses for the master once they reach 65%. Damage and morale dealt per stack of bleeding, poison, thorns and demoralized are gradually increasing from third year onwards. Okay, so uh, to keep the balance intact. Uh, yeah, sounds intriguing. Definitely also something I am gonna look into. Uh, okay, we can select between all the teams here. Was that the same for the Ascension mode? Yes, it seems so. All right, that is neat. Um, yeah, I am really excited to check that out. But yeah, this run also was really uh, yeah, really entertaining, lots of fun, haven't done like such a um, trap focused run before, but it, it was quite interesting. I'm not sure if it's something I want to do all the time, because yeah, basically it was pretty much clear what I would do before the fight even started, just place those uh, skeleton scientists and um, drop my ballista at the fitting spot. Um, which worked quite well, but yeah, didn't leave much room for improvisation and uh, specific reactions to the heroes. Um, but yeah, still, it was fun to do that for a change. But yeah, next time I'm looking forward to be focusing on creatures a bit more again. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that we've beaten all the five challenges here. 
and I'm looking forward to the next episode. I enjoyed this, I hope you did as well. If that's the case, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, maybe subscribe to my channel, and um, you could also follow me on Twitch and Twitter to catch me live streaming or tweeting random or not so random things. And um, other than that, I just hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.